Hello everyone and welcome to Africa's Craziest, where we bring to you the good, the bad, and the outrageous insights about Africa. In today's video, we are asking the question, is Ekawas a toothless bulldog over Niger? Before we get started, kindly click on the subscription button and notification bell to be notified each time we put up a new video. Also remember to like, comment, and share if you find the video interesting. The stance of West Africa's regional bloc known as ECOWAS in the military takeover in Niger is clear, we will stand with our people in our commitment to the rule of law, its chairman, Nigerian President Bola Tinubu, said at the bodies meeting this week. The danger to us right now is the fact that one of us, His Excellency, Mohamed Bassoon is in hostage by his own army. The presidential guard. What a calamity. It's an assault. on every one of us. The 15-nation bloc summoned its defense chiefs to discuss its threat to take all measures necessary, that may include the use of force if ousted Nigerian President Mohamed Bazoum is not reinstated within one week. Physical instability in Nigeria is a source of grave concern for us all. It threatens our shared vision of a peaceful, secure and prosperous West Africa. A vision that is impossible to achieve amidst political upheavals and disruptions to constitutional order. Therefore, it is incumbent upon us to deliberate on this issue and chart a course towards a resolution in accordance with the principles of democracy, rule of law, and respect for human rights. ECOWAS is resolved to use military force after economic and travel sanctions used against the coup plotters failed according to a Western diplomat in Niamey who did not want to be identified for security reasons. How the bloc would carry out its mission remains unclear given its lack of coordination in providing security regionally. According to some political pundits, there's not enough actual trust among ECOWAS members, and that lack of trust is what will break any type of coordinated response. But here's what we can tell so far on how such a military option could play out. Has ECOWAS intervened militarily in member countries before? This is the first time in recent years that ECOWAS has considered the use of force to intervene and restore democracies in countries where the military took over. Amid the resurgence of coups in West and Central Africa, for nations are run by military governments in the region, but the bloc has unsuccessfully tried to return democracies in these places. Its best shot has been economic sanctions that often end up with no effect other than squeezing the citizens already facing a high rate of poverty and hunger. However, ECOWAS has used force in recent history to restore order in member countries, most recently in 2017 in Gambia after longtime President Yahya Jama refused to step down after he lost the presidential election. But even in that case, the move had involved diplomatic efforts led by then-presidents of Mauritania and Guinea while JAMA appeared to be acting on his own after the Gambian army pledged allegiance to the winner of the election, Adama Barrow. Can a military intervention in Niger work? According to some political and economic analysts, the military in landlocked Niger, which relies on neighbors like Nigeria for electricity supply and Benin for port operations, may not be able to hold out for long against a joint ECOWAS force. Opposition from other neighboring military regimes could further complicate ECOWAS response. Mali and Burkina Faso, both ruled by mutinous soldiers, have said that they would consider intervention in Niger a declaration of war against them, while Guinea also condemned ECOWAS's position and vowed not to participate in sanctions, adding that any intervention to restore deposed President Mohamed Bazoum will be considered a declaration of war against them. The four countries share borders, which could make it easier for them to team up across the Sahel region in the vast arid expanse south of the Sahara Desert, starting from Guinea on one end to Niger on the other. 
analysts have said the success of such a military intervention would also depend on how ECOWAS can coordinate among its members and with external bodies like the African Union. There are already signs of a lack of synergy. ECOWAS gave the Niger junta a one-week deadline, shorter than the 15-day ultimatum the African Union handed them to return to their barracks. What could be the capacity of an ECOWAS military force? In December, the bloc said it was determined to set up a regional force to intervene in occasions like coups, but there has been no word since then on establishing such a force or how it would operate. In terms of numbers though, it is believed that should ECOWAS decide to deploy security forces in Niger, their number would be far more than the 7,000 members of the multinational force sent to remove JAMA from office. Nigeria alone has West Africa's largest armed force with 230,000 personnel, though not all are frontline troops. Nine of the top 20 countries with the best military in Africa are from remaining West African democracies, according to Global Firepower, which ranks military strength. Only Nigeria ranked fourth is among the top five, while 21st placed Mali is the highest ranked among the four countries that have recently witnessed coups. How much external influence from the West and Russia could we see in Niger? An ECOWAS-led military intervention in Niger and the resulting resistance from Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea could keep West and other parts of Africa sandwiched in the middle of a geopolitical battle between the West and Crimea. The coup in Niger could extend the reach of Russia's private military group Wagner in West Africa where it has emerged as the preferred security partner from Mali where they have helped fight jihadi groups to Burkina Faso where the regime has hailed Russia as its strategic ally after ousting French troops in February. Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigazin welcomed the military takeover as the fight of its people, Niger, against the colonizers, referring to France, which along with the U.S. has thousands of troops in Niger, seen as the last remaining Western ally in the Sahel. At this point, it is fair to say ECOWAS is not prepared for military intervention in Niger. This is a feeling being expressed by most citizens of ECOWAS member states and particularly Nigerians. The citizens are in support of countries liberating themselves from neo-colonialism, urging their leaders to solve their domestic problems before pointing fingers at others. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and why not share it with your network. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video on some of the craziest things about Africa.